Good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Friday, September 4th. Yay, it's Friday. Y'all made it. It's the end of the week for those that are working. So God bless you. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you have a great day at work today because the last day shouldn't be the worst day. My cup is actually uh, over overrunning like, like it says in the Bible for everyone that loves God and loves Jesus. I'm having a great morning this morning, but then again, every morning usually is pretty good for me. I listen to K-Love. Uh, there's actually a link in the description, and it goes right to the player. So just click on the link and press play. And I guarantee you it will change your day and you will have a great day because I listen to that first thing in the morning while I'm reading my Bible. Because not only do I read to you guys, I read to my children for I make a, a Bible class because we do homeschool. And they're seven and eight years old, so I teach them the Bible all day, all morning long, every morning. As I send y'all out uh, prayer and a little bit of, of reading to y'all videos. I just love talking about, about God. He, he's, he's the best. And ever since Jesus, ever since Yeshua came and, and died for our souls, I, I can't help it. But anyway, like I said, my cup overruns. Let me get off that subject. Uh, the weather today is actually beautiful. So, I mean, other than the heat and, and the humidity you have down south, which I am sorry y'all are dealing with, there is no weather really to talk about, which is a good thing. We might even have a good weather weekend for the Labor Day, maybe a little bit of rain in the south. I'll go over that tomorrow. But today is a beautiful day. So I'm going to go over and let you know what I found in the tropics, give a little update on all these little waves that's coming in. Because I'm showing the next four uh, waves that comes through, they, they're going to come to tropical storm strength immediately. One even goes up to hurricane strength but as far as the location, we'll see. You know, the one I talked about before in the Atlantic hurricane is one of them. Now, here's your, your look on tropical tidbits. We have Hurricane Lucas. He's a good guy in our community. He loves tropical tidbits, and I understand. I mean, it's a, it's a great place. But you can see them billowing up over here in the MDR. They're coming off. And the National Hurricane Center is given 40 to 50% chance for both of these, but 70 for this one coming through because this one's supposed to have a little northerly and it's going to get on a, a westerly push to make it zoom past but we will see what happens with that now if you go to pivotal weather weather and you go to the gfs model and you go check out your p watt an anomaly it shows your precipitation uh also what it does show is where your dry areas where there is no precipitation so you can see when they first start to come off both of these cells has dry air swallowing them up. I just wanted to make that point clear about what's going on with these things because they do turn a little northerly. Also, I have a time lapse at the end of this video to show you exactly what's going on with these cells so you can see all of them and the next ones coming. Now, if we go to the G GFS model and you go to your 10 meters, uh, 10 meter winds, you can see that these cells start popping off the into the MDR and they start coming out westerly. They're coming off weak though. They're not coming off super strong. Then they start to get a, a northerly push. Uh, one actually starts disappearing a little bit and then it, it heads right into the middle of the Atlantic. Now this is going far away. You can see we're already on day 162. Well, no, we're on hour 162, sorry. So it is, it is subject to change. But as of right now, this is the information that we have going with these uh, cells. Now, now, right here, I jumped all the way to 300 because it showed them do a northerly push. So I wanted to go forward to show you what the possibility could be if it does make it this far. Uh, this 983 right here, I believe this is the one that we was referring to as the, the Atlantic Hurricane I showed you before. So later in time, it actually could be a more westerly push. And all the effects you see now could be over here towards the East Coast. Then again, they could be more into the Atlantic. It's so far away really can't tell but as it pushes you see it, it grows and then it turns more easterly and gets out of here so as of right now it's not not an issue now if you go to your euro model you'll see that the, it's the same thing it shows that they come westerly and then they get a northern push to the to the dominant high that's in the atlantic so you can see that it's not going to last if these models do show true they both start heading northerly now if you go over to the WSV3, I put it a little fast for you so you can see the time lapse of these storms moving. Uh, I'll move it up because it does show that one of these heads to the Atlantic. Uh, it gets hurricane strength 
and it just billows there for hours. So what it was it's going to do if it's later down the road, we really don't know yet. But you'll see them shoot off. You'll see another one shoot south and do nothing. And then you'll see the other ones come after that, which is two more tropical storm strengths. So let me take you through this so you can see as we go through what's going on with these cells. And this is fast forward just so you know this is faster than what you normally would see. Now the first one's coming off. It's coming off Tropical Storm. And you can see it also will get even brighter so it's even more power. But that's the one that shows that it starts dissipating. Uh, the second one comes off nice and strong. It comes off Tropical Storm Strength as well. And this is your 10 meter winds. This is your sustained winds. So the second one will come off with tropical storm power as well. And that one's going to head north to the Atlantic. That's the one we want to watch out for. The second one is the one that was our Atlantic hurricane. So we'll see what comes of it. Uh, you will sh see one that shoots south uh, down here. They don't go too much. But after this billows and just stays in a dominant high and just gets strength for a while, you'll see another one shoot south. And then you'll see another, man, not, not southwest, sorry. Then you'll see a second one as well. Now, this is way down the road, and that's hurricane strength right there. This part right here, this orange and this yellow right here in the center, that's your hurricane strength uh, for, for this storm. There's 75. Now, you'll see these other ones shoot past. So this one turns right here. This one's going to turn to tropical storm strength, and this one will turn to tropical storm strength. Let me show you. Right there, this one is already 43. This one's 41 or more. I can probably find a better number. But look at this shot, guys. We don't know where this one's going to be way down the road because this is showing way down the road. Uh, it could be over here closer to us. Or this could be the true results. Hopefully they are. God bless. I hope they are. But as you see these two, this one shoots down towards uh, San, San Juan, Puerto Rico. You'll see it. It shoots, and then we don't have no more information past that. We got 16 days. That's all we can see. So that's why I put it in a loop so we can, you can look at it and get a view for yourself what's going to happen with these storms. And I really do hope that, that that one that's supposed to be our Atlantic hurricane does go out into the ocean and become a fish story like every, like everybody says. Like, well, y'all talk. I love that. I think that's funny. Now, as you check out the loop real quick. I want to get you going on your Friday with a, with a good message, okay? First of all, God bless all of you today. I hope you have a safe day. It is the beginning of your weekend. It is the beginning of Labor Day weekend. So whoever is traveling, be, please be safe today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I wanted to rather give you all a, a prayer going off today rather than talk about the scriptures for today. Because I am going to be uh, restarting the scriptures soon and, and reading from day one like I do with my kids. Uh, so we're going to be probably following behind them. <laughs> so I hope y'all have a very blessed day today. I hope everything goes good for y'all today. And I hope weather-wise, this is the outcome that we're going to get uh, from these tropical storms. Minus the last one headed towards uh, my buddy John over there in Puerto Rico. John, I hope that this is information and you don't have any more problems over there in Puerto Rico. We love y'all guys. And we hope y'all stay safe. All right, after we see those last two form up, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Y'all have a great day. Be safe if you're driving. And if you're planning on going out for Labor Day weekend, please be careful not only with the weather, but with the sickness as well. God bless you all. Thank you for watching.